Hey guys, Liam here. This is a bit of a PSA, a public service announcement to talk about Steam Deck scams and why you need to look out for them. I'm sure plenty of people listening won't actually need this reminder, but I'm highlighting it for a very good reason. Recently, I came across a store that claimed to be based in the UK, where I am from, that claims to sell brand new Steam Decks. Now, even if this isn't a full-blown scam, which it certainly seems like, it's highly suspect and just not right, especially because only Valve and Komodo for Asian regions actually sell them. No one else is authorised, so it was an immediate red flag. Today, though, it seems another company got caught up in this very sus web store, a brand that many Steam Deck owners will know of called Jazux maker of many Steam Deck accessories, a company I already did a video on because of various privacy issues and they've struck out again here. This Steam Deck.info webshop posted on Twitter that they're teaming up with Jazox as an official partner. Jazox retweeted it and so it was clear that they were working together. The problem is Jazox seems to have done no basic checks on this Steam Deck.info company. There's a number of issues with this Steam Deck.info website that I'm going to go through with you here now. In the UK, it is a law that companies must provide their registered UK company number. Steam Deck.info don't, and it only goes downhill from there. I shouldn't even need to mention to begin with that they can't just use the Steam Deck name like this either. It's trademarked by Valve, and whoever is running this very sus store is just trampling all over the trademark. The next is their listed company address, which is just some random luxury apartment complex in London, not even the actual proper full address. The next suspect thing is that their claim of shipping out brand new Steam Decks, which they offer at a discount. Oh, and they even list out of stock, use your air quotes here, limited edition Steam Decks as well, which they apparently use their own Steam account to purchase them for you. The amount of red flags over here is just ridiculous. It gets even worse though, steamdeck.info is selling Steam accounts as well. They're not even hiding it, they're very clearly advertising it. Selling Steam accounts is directly against Valve's own terms of services. It is flat out not allowed and you can be completely banned from Steam for this. I sent a message to Jazox to ask for a statement noting that it's pretty likely a scam, and they seem to just be okay with being associated with it. When pressing Jazox again, they decided to then actually check into it. Come on, you don't check something isn't a scam after you announce a partnership. This is a basic failure to protect your brand and protect your customers. I'm actually genuinely in a bit of shock at just how stupid this is. It seems after I notified them about how suspect this is, Jazox did remove their retweet after I notified them for the second time, which is good, but it's still ridiculous that they even teamed up in the first place. This fake company emailed me after I called them out on it on Twitter, and they said to the effect of they are helping people with lower prices who don't have a Steam account which makes no sense. A Steam account is free, anyone can make one. And again, it is against Valve's terms of services to sell Steam accounts and to give them to other people. When I asked them for their company number, they said that they're not actually a company, but a sole trader, which is in some ways fine. I'm classed as the same, but I'm also not using a trademarked name and pretending to be a business that sells brand new Steam decks. So what you should take away here is that if you are going to buy a Steam Deck, make sure it is legitimate. Buy it from Valve directly, or if you're in one of the supported Asian regions, go to Komodo. Outside of that, you are completely on your own. Don't fall for the trap. I'm just honestly amazed though at just how ridiculous this is that Jazox have completely fallen for it with no basic checks being done. And it's a huge shame because on top of the privacy issues that I noted about them previously, their stuff is actually quite good. But teaming up with an unauthorized reseller that is selling Steam accounts and just has tons of red flags, it's not a good look. Stay safe out there and be careful with your money.
I imagine it won't be long until this little pretend company gets shut down by Valve. Do let me know what you think to all this in the comments.